At the Vidsel range in Sweden, Spear, a next-generation turbojet-powered small cruise missile, successfully finished the test after being launched from a Bay Systems-operated Typhoon jet. The most recent experiment marked a significant advancement in the development of the program since it was the first time the weapon system had been launched against a target. Each missile has a range of targets including fast-moving vehicles, ships, tanks, air defenses, and protected buildings, and can strike targets up to 100 kilometers away. The missile will allow the military to strike targets from land and Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers once deployed and will be mounted on the UK's F-35B fighter jets. The missile is an air-launched cruise missile that is only 2 meters long and 0.180 meters in diameter, but has an estimated range of 120 to 140 kilometers. It is powered by a TJ-150 turbojet and flies at high subsonic speeds. For guidance on the way, the missile uses inertial navigation systems and GPS to track its location and trajectory. Spear autonomously navigated to the target via customizable routes before using its advanced all-weather radar seeker to map the target area and using the radio frequency imagery to successfully engage it. Developed in the UK by MBDA, the SPEAR program supports hundreds of jobs across MBDA's 5,500 UK workforce, with design taking place in Stevenage and Bristol and production in Bolton. Minister for the Armed Forces, Luke Pollard said, The successful trial of the pioneering SPEAR missile marks a significant leap forward in UK armed forces capabilities, ensuring our Royal Navy and Royal Air Force personnel are equipped with cutting-edge technology to protect our nation. This achievement not only strengthens national defense capabilities, but also boosts the UK economy by supporting high-skilled jobs and innovation. As of September 2024, the SPEAR 3 program was still in the demonstration phase, with data provided by the previous UK government in January this year stating the missile would be integrated onto Royal Air Force and Royal Navy F-35B stealth fighters by the end of the decade. F-35B jets will be able to carry up to eight Spear missiles at a time, providing the next generation of long-range air-to-surface missiles. This guided firing trial marks a critical milestone in the development of the SPEAR program, which provides the next generation of standoff air-to-surface missiles for suppression of enemy air defenses missions in challenging and complex operating environments. The trial, which used a telemetry unit instead of a live warhead, demonstrated the release, gather and long-range free flight control of the missile following a high-altitude and high-speed release. Although this is a positive step, development is significantly behind schedule. Full operating capability has slipped from 2025 to 2028, leaving the F-35s lacking a standoff weapon for another four years. Recent conflicts have demonstrated the need for precision strike weapons that can operate night and day in all weather conditions against severe countermeasures and importantly attack moving and maneuvering targets. Mike Mew, Tactical Strike Director of MBDA, said, Spear is a truly unique weapon system, the first to offer the range, flexibility, precision and loadout to defeat modern enemy air defenses. The success of this trial is thanks to excellent joint working from teams across MOD, Bay Systems, and MBDA. Spear is part of a wider portfolio which supports £6.5 billion of planned investment in the UK weapons industry by the MOD over the next decade, which includes other missile programs such as Brimstone, CAM, Sea Viper, Sea Venom, and Storm Shadow, putting the UK at the forefront of future weapons development. This trial was a crucial step in bringing Spear to the UK front line, where it will give pilots a new capability to defeat the most complex air defense systems enabling them to fly and fight wherever they're needed in defense of the UK and its allies, stated Matthew Brown, Spear team leader at DENS. The Spear family currently consists of two variants, Spear, a 100 kg class air-to-surface cruise missile, and Spear U, 
an electronic warfare variant for stand-in jamming or for use as a decoy. MBDA in cooperation with Leonardo are now developing another variant known as Spear U. The warhead is replaced with Leonardo's advanced miniaturized digital radio frequency memory technology, a highly advanced electronic jamming and deception system. The electronic warfare version would add a significant suppression of enemy air defenses capability, which the carrier strike group currently lacks. Previous development under SPEAR, which stands for Selective Precision Effects at Range, began in 2006, designed to produce a range of long-range air-launched weapons for the RAF. SPEAR-1 produced the Paveway IV Precision Guided Bomb. A total of 4,000 of the bombs had been delivered to the RAF by 2015 and had been tested in combat. Spear 2 included further development of the rocket-propelled brimstone anti-tank missile into a dual-mode, laser-radar-guided weapon capability, Block 1, 2, and 3 versions. Brimstone can fly at up to supersonic speed, has a range of up to 60 kilometers, depending on the height of release, and a specialist warhead designed to pierce armored. In March 2010, MBDA was awarded a £150 million four-year assessment phase contract to develop Spear 3, officially described as a weapon designed to precisely engage long-range, mobile, fleeting and relocatable targets in all weathers, day or night in the presence of countermeasures, obscurance and camouflage, whilst ensuring a safe standoff range between the aircrew and threat air defenses. To add confusion, Spear 3 has no other name like Paveway or Brimstone and is now routinely referred to as just Spear. Spear 4 is the upgrade to the Storm Shadow long-range standoff weapon and Spear 5 is the project to replace Storm Shadow, now subsumed into the future cruise anti-ship weapon FCASW project.